We are here on the Burmese River next to the community of Kokwani, where a number of homes have been flooded by an increase in water level on the Burmese River, which was exacerbated by heavy rainfall. Well, so far it's only about two weeks now since the water reached up like this. Eh? Okay. Yes, that's about two weeks now since we moved upstairs. And there's my father in our house. We move up there. Yeah. Are we seeking other places to go higher land? Yeah. Until yes, yesterday, day for us, you have to clean up other place to so move out. Here does be the crossing landing, just like over there. Yes, and more out as be road and so forth. Mm -hmm. How long have you been living here? So, oh, my oh, my life. Life. And has anything like this ever happened before? Not so high. Mm -hmm. Tapping yes, but not so high. So it never come up up to here. Oh. If you take a look over there, that's the boat house. And the water level there is like approximately like five feet in the boat house. And a little way up, we have the hot, the security hot. Water don't normally be till that end. So this year the water level has gone extremely high as per normal. It's a seasonal something in the community, especially at the waterfront and the Lamp Island area. However, it has on its way some sections in the park area presently. Well it's devastating because there as I mentioned before they are accustomed to the customary um, yearly flooding in the community however this year has really hit them hard because they haven't expected it to come this high. And could you also give me an idea of at what point did it get this bad? It have started the third week in March. Yeah, the third week in March and in May. In April mountain to May, early May. It water has risen and without receding at any point. In March when it started, it have receded a little, but after then it keep rising. Right. And just finally, how long have you been living here? 21 years. And is this something strange for you as well? Is this a strange experience that you're having also? Yes, this is the first time mm -hmm. I'm experience, experiencing it at this level. Mm -hmm. I mean, persons, older residents have told me that in the 1980s, which was the largest, the worst flood they have ever experienced, when it was approaching the Kukwani Workers Club from the plant site area. So we're here at the Kukwani Primary School in Kukwani Region 10, where about 48 people currently are staying, um, inclusive of six families. The families who are staying here at this shelter are those persons whose homes have been inundated with floodwaters and they were left with no choice but to come here um, and take shelter. So we spoke to a few of the families and what they indicated to us is that the, they don't know when the floodwaters will recede, for, so for the time being they're going to stay here at the shelter. There are also two other shelters shelters here in Region 10 um, and it is expected that these shelters will continue to house people as the rainy season continues. Oh, I was affected by the water, you know, coming plenty and the children mostly got, got to be inside, they can't get to come out and at least for the two babies they were accustomed with the yard, you know, so, and they was very fretful and so I decided to just move and come here with them. We see snake. Snake was swimming, coming to the house, <laughs> and children frightened. Also, me frightened because my children' father was not around. He was at work, so it was very scary. Because remember, we were over the water. We were really comfortable around it. I I came as soon as possible. 
as I heard that them have some way for us to, to stay, I decide early and I make up my mind as early as possible because of the safety with the children. Mm -hmm. Maybe in another few weeks, few months, we don't know when the water goes down. Are you going to be going back to your home or are you going to look to move somewhere else? I'm going to go back, yes, but at the meantime, I would look for somewhere else because you got to look out again for the flood. So if I get somewhere to move or build, I would move. There are some people who have left behind their inundated homes but have not opted to stay in the shelters. Instead, they have been staying with family members or establishing some makeshift living space on any available dry land. I come out here since the water start coming up, but then I check people, I see me house four, man. Right, me house in two land, but it's five years, it's five, six years I come up here now. And it's, the reason why I come up here is to give the children schooling from the low down the border ship, yeah? It's from Calcone, so. I had my family before now, the, the bigger ones, and then the smaller ones are coming up. And me and my little children got the hostage. So that is the reason for me coming away like from that side there. Because that is where I live, I know, to make my life in the area, yeah? Really and truly me, you know, to be honest, I can't say how long this water will last for or not, right? But then, it's a good experience for me, at least for me. It's a good, the last water that came, it went up to about three to four trailers up. We step right there. We step. My house is like seven feet high. We got the same water thing, make a raise it. And raise it now, it didn't make sense. It's right up to the to the floor in it, right? So, it ain't easy. We're, everything you're washing on your step, you're washing, you're cooking, you're bathing, you're shitting, everything, man, you know? Everything. You can't go up and see something drop from your hand, it's go away. In Kokwani, like many other communities all across Guyana, a number of stakeholders have been trying to provide some relief items to provide support. Minister of Human Services and Social Security Dr. Vinya Prasad during an outreach to Kokwani on Saturday said that there must be continuous support for the people. Ferdinand, you mentioned continuous support. Obviously, this is a situation that perhaps cannot be controlled in any way. It cannot be. This is a, a result of rainfall and I was speaking to some of the officials on the ground and they did say that some of the areas that have actually been flooded where we are on the roads and on sandbags never had this level of water before. So this is unprecedented rainfall, unprecedented flooding and the most we can do at this point is to pool our efforts to see how we can alleviate and address the needs that have been as a result of these kinds of floods. And I know this is not only here in Kokwani where we are here in Region 10, but this is many parts of the country and we are everywhere that we could possibly be. For now, these Kokwani residents remain on the water and hope that the rainy season would end swiftly so that they can begin the long and perhaps tedious process of cleaning up and rebuilding. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Vishani Ragabir.